Welcome to the Leadership on Marketing Yourself and Your Student Organization. This presentation will be led by Teresa Murray and Kim Day from the Student Centers and Activities Marketing Team. This is sponsored by the Student Centers and Activities Office of Involvement. Kim Deng, uh, I am in the same department and I am the Marketing Coordinator and Graphics Person. Um, so before we get started today, thank you if you've already introduced yourself. Um, if you'd like, please just drop your name and your group in the chat and also what you're looking to get out of today. So, you know, if Kim and I have the ability to help you anymore um, based on what our presentation is going to be, we'd love to do that. So if there's anything in particular that you'd like to see, please drop that in for us. Yep. Or feel free to shout it out too. This is pretty informal. So, um, yeah. Kim, can you just monitor the chat? For me? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can always share it with us as we get on to um, later. And um, what we're going to do right now is we're going to get started um, about talking about what is a brand. So if anybody has any ideas of what a brand is or why having a brand is important, please drop it into the chat and we will select one winner for one of our prizes. Anybody have any ideas? It could be totally a random guess, just fine. Okay, I'll just jump in. So that's what today's for. So a brand, as defined by Merriam-Webster, um, is there's one of four options, right? It's a class of goods manufactured um, by a single organization or firm, a distinctive or characteristic of a brand of, of a kind, uh, a brand name, or a public image, reputation, or identity conceived of as something to be marketed or promoted. And that's the really important piece. So why having a brand is important? It's because it's who you are. It's how people see you. It's how they see the work that you do. And so whether or not it's a personal brand or an organization brand or a corporate brand, um, it's really important to have a clear idea of how you want yourself portrayed to the world. And when we're talking about brands today, it should we should remind you that we're not just talking about those big corporate Fortune 500 brands. We're talking about what you can do personally um, to build your group or organization brand and your personal brand. So Teresa, Farron, I'm, I'm, I don't want to make sure I say your, say your name correctly, said a brand can represent a team. And Paolo said brands are about perceptions. Awesome. So, which okay. I don't know which one is the closest answer. Well, we can hold on to both of those answers because we'll have some more opportunities for prizes later. So we can okay. All right, Kim, turning it over to you. All right. So um, sometimes people think of a brand as a logo, which it, it can be, but it, I mean, it's not a logo, but it's just part of it. A brand is something that's so much more than that. Um, it's a logo. It's part of a brand, but um, a brand is basically everything that makes you who you are. It's everything about you. So make sure that you are marketing your authentic self when it comes to branding. Um, so some things to consider. Um, you don't have to tell us, but just think about this in the back of your mind as we're going through this presentation. Who are you? What defines who you are? Um, what are your goals for this year and the future? You know, what obstacles have you overcome, if there are any? You know. And what do you really care about at the end of the day? Okay, next slide. We're gonna be giving you some, a few examples. If Sorry Kim, it takes a little, it takes a second to switch over. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, we have a few examples to give you of how people brand themselves. Um, so since your brand is who you are and what you wanna show the world, um, here are some examples. This one is from Instagram. Um, this is at very gay paint. They're two guys, they're gay, they paint very beautiful murals. Um, almost every post is of their work or their process. Um, that's their brand, that's basically it. So um, it's very beautiful to look at and they have a very specific style. And we're gonna show you a couple of these examples and these are all micro influencers. So that means they aren't necessarily celebrities, but they do have a few thousand followers or they have a good you know, following. So that means that they might be a little bit different than your page as a person, you know, as a regular person. Um, but we just want you to see these examples to show you how to leverage social media for your own work. So the next example we have is from Twitter. Um, this is at Sh Makeup Shayla. And she actually has a couple million followers, which is insane. Um, she posts about makeup, makeup tutorials, and she's not afraid to have her own voice on, actually she posts about political matters a lot. Um, 
Her posts are mostly of, of a gorgeous brown palette and she's not afraid to be a really proud black woman. So your brand is who you are and what you wanna show the world. Just remember that, okay? Um, so just be proud of who you are and remember that whatever you post in social media is part of your brand. So whatever, whether it is your personal page or a more curated account, it is what people see as you. And the next example, this is from LinkedIn. This is actually, this is one of our former students. Her name is Mithu. Um, wanted to show you a real life example from one of your peers. She used to be a marketing student here at Rutgers University. Um, she's really good at branding herself. She has since on, moved on to a full-time job. So we just wanted to show you to see what she did with her LinkedIn page. Um, she has a, a professional looking photo and it, it doesn't have to be professional. It just has to be a nice photo of yourself, a good headshot, okay? Um, what she's really good about, she put a featured section. She put her resume there. She's got a website with all of her work in her portfolio. Um, she's got a little blurb in her about section. So just make sure you have that all done. Oh, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to actually click on you, Kim, sorry. Um, so thank you for those examples. Um, so we all know that social media has some downsides to it, of course, but can, it's also a really great way to use a free platform to brand yourself. So we're gonna talk about using social media to do your personal brand right now. Um, here are some questions that you definitely wanna keep in mind. First off, should your account be public or private? Should you have a separate account? So you know, maybe depend, Maybe you wanna use your Instagram account to show off some of the photos you take. Well, then it probably should be something that's more public so there's more of a chance that people should see it. Um, but maybe you're gonna use your uh, LinkedIn profile and just update some pictures and your Instagram is gonna be for more of your personal use. Then that would be something where you have to decide which one should be public and which one should be private. Or maybe you've got a public Instagram account that's just your photos and a private one for you and your friends. You know, it really depends on what you're looking for. Kim mentioned this, but what does your photo say about you? So is your photo on LinkedIn a professional headshot? It doesn't need to be professional again, but does it look like it's something that you would use when applying to medical school, when applying for a full-time job? Um, or is it a picture of you and your friends at a Rutgers tailgate? You know, that might be something that's better used for Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. Um, and maybe not LinkedIn directly. Each of these platforms has a different audience and a different purpose. So you really have to determine which one you're going to use to brand yourself and how you're going to use it. Um, the next one is what do you list in your bio? Um, if you're the president of your student group, do you list that you're the president of your student group and have you have that student group tagged? Do you list um, where you work, um, an internship that you have? What, is, what are you telling the world about yourself and your bio? If you are using any of these platforms to serve as your portfolio, do you have a website or a digital portfolio link? What are you listing for your contact information? Um, and then this next piece is very important and sometimes often forgotten. Who are you following? What are you liking, resharing, commenting on? Those can serve as an endorsement of you, whether or not you think they will. Right? So we've all seen in the past um, celebrities who retweet something they shouldn't be retweeting or share something where they haven't read the full article. And it's not even something that they believe, but they just liked the title of it and reshared it, right? That ends up coming back to hurt them because it's seen as an endorsement. So you really wanna be careful about who you're inter interacting with on these pages as well, if you're using it for your brand. Are there old photos of you that you're tagged in? Are there old photos of you that are posted that you posted that maybe have different settings. Go in and check your sharing settings. Go in and check your tagging settings. Have a friend unfollow you and see what they can see about your profile publicly, right? Keep in mind that if whatever is publicly visible or privately visible to those individuals you choose to accept um, is a representation of you. So however you want that account to look, you have to make sure that it's, um, it's handled in such a way that you're only sharing that content. Now, this is also incredibly important, obviously, if you're getting ready to go um, to apply to graduate school, medical school, et cetera, or looking for your future career. Um, you know, people can Google you, uh, people can check your Facebook page, people will definitely check your LinkedIn out. So all of this is important down the road too. Um, it's really imperative that you decide which platforms you should be on. 
one way or another, you should all be on LinkedIn. We're going to recommend you all have LinkedIn profiles set up um, because that's a great way to highlight the successes of your organization as well. If you are the treasurer and you helped launch a great fundraising initiative, you should be sharing that on LinkedIn. Um, and then depending on what else you're using these platforms for, that's where you should be. So if you're gonna be doing graphic design work, Instagram is a great place to show that. If you have your own blog and you are writing a lot, it's probably Facebook, so you can share links and content.